Doubly terminated Changan Quartz. Um, not a flood to though. There is a little bit of contact on that section. So this we would use, what I'm showing you now, I'd use as the base of this particular specimen. Color-wise, we're talking about a smoky amethyst. So a mixture of smoky and amethyst. Absolutely natural. This is how they occur at this deposit. Often I find moving gas come water bubbles inside them. Um, under magnification, of course. What you do, you, you, you put a strong light to it. Then you move it from side to side and you look for motion. And once you see the motion, then uh, uh, go to the source of the motion, and that's where you'll find the little uh, uh, gas come water bubble. But it only has an anhydra if I mention it in my description. And should I mention it in my description, I have definitely found one. So it may take a little bit of time and effort to, to search through it. Now, what's quite fascinating and quite lovely about these guys are these little, shall we say, rock art happening inside. There's a lot of attention to detail in each little crystal. Um, quite fascinating and this particular one is very bright and luster so a very appealing little guy smoky amethyst all the way from Zimbabwe I'm going to give it another turn now my still pictures on these are pretty pretty horrible so uh, you'd be well advised to watch the videos and even with the videos I often struggle um, to get the true reflection you see depending on the angle where I hold it there it looks for instance very mousy when I tilt it over slightly there you get the color coming through and of course these are best enjoyed when when held in hand um, let's see if we have a V formation in here I don't see a V formation in here all the way from Zimbabwe Shangan quartz